You don't visit New Haven when not going to Frank Pepe's on Worcester Street, the oldest pizzeria in town. This is the home of the White Clam Pie, which has been ranked as the best pizza in America. There are eight Pepe's locations in the U.S., but I went to the original on Worcester Street and met up with Gary Bamonte, Frank Pepe's grandson. Just watch the pizza. Yep. Don't worry about what's behind you. Okay. Put it right in. One, two, three. Of course I want to learn about the pizza, but I'm also really excited to get to know the family behind the legend. My sister's one of the servers here. She's been here probably, I don't know, 25, 30 years. Hurricane Gloria came, and I was home, and the eye of the storm was passing over Connecticut. And my mother called me up and she goes, Genevieve, you get down here and help run this business. You come on, we're open. When I came down, I had to help my mother open the business. We had no lights. And my brother Gary and my, uncle, and my uncle Ralph were using a flashlight in the oven. Pizza never stops. How do you describe like uh, Frank Pepe's pie? My grandfather's from the Naples region, so it's a Neapolitan style thin crust, right. crispy, chewy. You yeah. know, that's the whole thing with the uh, the oven. This is the original plain tomato pizza, and this is our nationally acclaimed clam pizza. I can't wait. Thank you, Gary. Oh, Thank you welcome. for having me here. Oh, I'm excited. Our, my pleasure, and it's our family's pleasure. So in New York, we do the fold. You guys do the fold oh, yeah, here, too? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Right. That's the way to do it. Now I know what all the fuss is about. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Here with these coal ovens, I mean, this is some of the best char on pizza I think I've seen. This is the original oven. This yeah. one was from, like, uh, late 1800s. There's the fire. Yep. It's it heats the hearth. entire yeah, chamber. open hearth. Open hearth. Yep. Wow. Magical things happen in the oven. So how long have you been in the pizza game, in the pizza uh, 40 world? 40 years, yeah, all my life. Was it your first job? Yeah, basically, yeah, it was my first and only job. I went to a technical school, and I wanted to be an auto mechanic. My mother said, no, I want you to work with your brain, not with your hands. I took electronics. I did OK. I started working, and That's that was it. The rest yeah. is history. This pie is amazing. Clam. I really, really like it. Fresh shut clams. You could taste like the brininess, you could yeah. taste the garlic, the oregano. It was really, really nice. These clams have a nice, sweet flavor. Yeah, they definitely do. We shuck about 80 to 90 bushels a week just in this location. Wow. So we actually had to get a couple of different suppliers, mm -hmm. but they all take from the specific beds that we want them to take from. And is that like a local bed? Yes. Incredible. That's all I can say. <laughs> Great, yeah, that's all I need to know. I'm making a pizza at Frank Pepe's right now. It's like a dream come true. Is this pizza done? I don't know. Apparently, I need another 20 years. <laughs> this is a pro's pizza. This is somebody, maybe I just need a little more time. We have some come out like that, too, <laughs> so don't worry about it. <laughs> Thanks for making me feel better. Oh. Please. This looks beautiful, guy. When I was making the pizzas, yeah. uh, it was it was a, a good feeling. I love working the oven. Yeah. The oven man could make you or break you. We figured it out that I was on the bench myself. We call it being on the bench, banging out the pies. Right. For uh, 12, 13 years straight, I banged out 1.2 million pizzas. Wow. So. That's insane. Yeah. That's insane. <laughs> you got good pizza hands, I can see. <laughs>